Hey, what's up, B? John, aka Operation iDroid here, and welcome to my first Let's Read of Tokyo Ghoul Re. Now, this is Tokyo Ghoul Re chapter 47, that's where we're starting off. So, if you're not up to this point in the manga, which Tokyo Ghoul Re is the continuation of Tokyo Ghoul, then I recommend you read up to this point, then join me so that we can read chapter 47 together. And you may be wondering, how do we read it together? And that's very simple. All you have to do is follow the link in the description below or click on the card now to head to the chapter. And then as you can see, we have this little overlay right here that says the page that I'm on. And of course, I'll be telling you guys which tile I'm on. I'll probably be reading it out loud anyways, like if I was your first grade teacher reading to you and whatnot. But <laughs> with that being said, I hope you guys are excited for this chapter. Tokyo Ghoul Re has been pretty awesome so far and I am really enjoying it. So if you are as well, hit that like button as it's greatly appreciated. So without any further ado, I'm already on page one. I'm looking at it and there's a lot of text on this page so we better get started. So the battle between CCG's advanced troops and the Tsukiyuma Ghouls has begun at the lunatic, the lunatic Eclipse in the 8th Ward. It's probably buying time for Miromo Tsukiyama's son or another close individual, let's call them him for convenience, to escape. There's a helipad on the lunar eclipse's roof. There's text right behind my webcam, webcam and I can't like see it. <laughs> a helicopter would be the best escape. Miruma let himself get captured so easily in order to cover for him to escape, which of course we know is Tsukiyama. So Tsukiyama's family objective, letting him escape in a helicopter, buying time to cover him up, CCG's message, mission, which is exterminate him, which is Tsukiyama, Shu, uh, and annihilate all of the ghouls inside the lunatic eclipse. And, I, and this is like the annihilation of the Tsukiyama family operation begin. All right, so here we have this guy that's like, some sort of like mastermind for the CCG that it's always like doing all of these like big attacks and like running them. But we have Miruma Tsukima will be temporarily sent to Cornicolum. <laughs> oh, okay, it says on the bottom what a Cornicolum is. Cornicolum, it's like a simpler version of Coachella. It has ghoul suspects and the ones related to the cases concerning ghouls. Be careful, be careful of what you do. We'll do something about the helicopter, exterminate him like the little trapped rat he is. We can gather intel from Ryuma, kill him immediately. Yo, so they just want to destroy this man. Tsukiyama, that tower can't even be Icarus Tower. I I really don't get what they just said there, but yo, it's getting intense. They literally just want to kill Shu. Alright, so we're heading to page 2, which is just the Imperial Scans page. Shout out to Imperial Scans for translating all of this for us. But here we go. It's a babble that doesn't reach anywhere. That's like a reference to like Babel Tower, which we have seen Tokyo Ghoul reference a lot of uh, to the Holy Bible, the Christian Bible, which is pretty crazy. And now we have even crazier this guy just saying rest in peace, right? That's all he says. He just says rest in peace. Does he have a chainsaw in his hand? Yo, what the hell? Calm down, dude. Legitimately chainsawing through a guy. And he just killed Shiki Kijima. Rod and follow. Rinkaku rate S. That's an S rate. Oh, that's his that's his chainsaw. His chainsaw is his uh Queen K. Yo, that's crazy. A rank S Queen K chainsaw. This guy's like the Texas chainsaw massacre. <laughs> Furita, don't slip on the bud. On the blood. Yes, come on, come on. Master Miyuruma. Oh Jesus, that guy that was like covering up like one of the main guys the president of apollo literally just got split in two and he says he says amen as he splits through him that's ridiculous what the heck yo i hate that there's like one panel behind my webcam and yo here we go we now see haize or kaneki whatever you want to call him wow advanced troops huh relentless as usual we can't use the elevators let's use the emergency stairs let's hurry up before we get we're deprived of any credit <laughs> This guy's always looking for credit. What is wrong with him? Yo, it's not that serious. Oh, yo, look at that panel in the middle. And look at the one on top. Yo, they're just destroying ghouls. I got the guys in the front. Mutsuki, cover the sides. Yo, they're literally just destroying ghouls. Any squad can succeed at something like this. Let's continue to head up. Yes, sir. Everyone is improving. 
Satomi and Toga, don't fall behind the front lines. Yes, sir. That is Shimakuchi's squad. Arrived 10 minutes earlier than Haize's team. So they're already, like, higher up in this tower. A corpse. Stop. Oh, yo! It's Kane. It's Kane. Stop. He's alone. We will exterminate it. Don't let your guard down. Oh, this is uh, whatever squad that got there 10 minutes earlier. First class Sasaki. I'm worried about the situation at the rooftop. You can advance and search for the enemies. That's that girl that's part of that was part of Arima squad. Squad leader Shirazu. I'll leave the rest to you. Got it. Yo, look at... Oh, what the hell? Is... Who? What? Who is that? Who is that person in that panel? Is that not... What? I thought that was Kane, but this person looks like Kaneki. Amazing, CCG's ninja. He's a better hang of his Kagane. Oh, okay, that is Kaneki. He just like jumped out the window to get to the roof. Okay, I was like, yo. Amazing, CCG's ninja. He has a better hang of his Kagane than a ghoul does. What a beast. <laughs> he has a better handle on his Kagane than a ghoul does. Little do they know this man's actually a... Okay. It seems like there's no one on the roof. Oh, snap. I can't see this full page. Damn it. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta adjust this. Okay, this is messing. We're on page 9 right now. It's messing with your... With, like, what you guys see. But I can't see the whole page, so... I gotta, like, do this for a sec. Okay, he's on the roof. Even so, such a huge company, a huge group. Even the end... Even when the end comes, it's always so sudden. Throb. Oh, yo, he's, rem he's remembering Anteku. That's crazy. A headache at a time like this? Matsume, Mairu, Master Shu, I'm glad you're safe. All of the, like, people that are always there. Alright, let's get this back so you guys can see. We're on page 10 now. Matsume, the CGCG are already on the floor below us. True that. Okay, wait, episode 10, come on. And this is, there we go, page 10. That woman is leading the charge. I understand, Master Shu. That woman, is that... Is that Arima? So, like that girl that was on Arima squad or is that um wow I just forgot her name the one that's like Heise's mom that was Amon's partner's daughter I totally forgot her name wow that kills me okay we will go back them up was it Akira maybe okay as soon as we finish we will return so please wait on the roof Matsume why aren't you wearing your mask can you promise me that you'll come back for sure? Nope, she's not wearing her mask because she's dead, yo. Oh, look. Little flashback. You're going to school again? The necessary training for ghouls about how to live in society. You'll have to attend school eventually, Master Shu. Could you hurry and come back? I want to play Scrabble with you. What's <laughs> fucking Scrabble? Can you come back by 4 o'clock? Yes, 4 o'clock is no problem. It's a promise. Yeah. Oh, she probably broke that promise too. Then kiss my left thumb. Your left thumb? My papa told me, your left thumb represents faith. Can you promise? Oh, yo, she just said I cannot promise. She knows she's dead. Oh, my God. Master Shu, please live. Please survive. From the start, this life was yours. Yo, all of these people are, like, super, like, for Shu. That's crazy. Like, I didn't even know, like, he had so many people that were, like, about him. Please do not waste it. These words are too cruel, Matsume. Matsume, she's using the same Queen K from last time. The formation is slightly different, but it's basically the same. That means that we can prepare a plan for it. Yeah. Master Shu, please become stronger. You have the strength to claw the way out of the Forest of Thorns. I, Matsume, believe that. Master Shu, I know I'm being rude, but please forgive me for this. I have... I have loved you as if you were my little brother. That's cute. I thought she was going to say loved you, like loved you, loved you. But, yeah. Yo, they're not even wearing their masks. They're like, fuck it, we're dead. We just gotta stall for time. Nice to see you again, Tsukuyuma's knight. If it's her, she'll... Never mind. Goodbye. Wait, who's she saying goodbye to? Yo, do you see the blood on her face? She has blood on her face. That's She's relentless. And look at this guy with the chainsaw, just chilling. <laughs> there's, there's a chainsaw sound effect. It's like, vroom. <laughs> Mutsume Mairu. Yuma, Arisa, Kane... Dad, they all died for Shu, or at least he thinks Kane died. Oh, oh, oh! 
Wait, wait, I need to see the full page, yo. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's on the roof. The helicopter's been sh shot down, and now it's only Kaneki there. It's a full page panel. That's how you know it's serious, dude. That's how you know it's serious. This is page 16, by the way. I'm trying to get it right back up. There we go. Okay, yo. Oh. This is S2. We have shot down the Tsukiyuma Group's helicopter. I repeat, your. And then little couple like ellipses. This world is fucking kidding. A fucked up joke. <laughs> Yo. Yo, they just end the chapter off like that? Like that? That's crazy, yo. Like, I'm no Tokyo Ghoul, like, expert. And I'm not as good as, like, other reviewers when it comes to, like, breaking down every panel and whatnot. I just enjoy the manga. So, I really don't have anything else to say besides the fact that this is pretty epic that Kane... Kane... Kane Haize, aka Kaneki, and Shu are meeting again, and now on this rooftop, and I wonder if Kaneki's gonna call it in, or they're actually gonna have a conversation, because the last time, Kaneki's like, uh, Kaneki wanted to know who he was, but at the same time, he didn't know, want to know who he was, and then Shu was just like, I'm not gonna tell you, and it's just, this world is a fucking joke. <laughs> That's crazy. But pretty good chapter, yo. Pretty good chapter. We had a ton of progression. Pretty much um, that girl from Arima Squad and that one guy with the chainsaw are literally on the floor below Kaneki and Shu. All of Shu's like, people are just holding them back so that Shu can escape. But I don't know what's going to happen. They haven't seen Shu's face. At least I think they haven't. Or they don't know if it's actually him. They keep referring to it as him. So if he escapes, he should be good. But... It's up to Kaneki, or Haise, to allow him to escape. We're almost at chapter 50, and I'm sure something pretty epic is going to happen at chapter 50, so I cannot wait for that. Let me know your thoughts about this chapter in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Maybe inform me on some of the stuff that I may have missed in this chapter, like if there was any tarot cards or things of that nature. And if you enjoyed reading this chapter with me, make sure to click that like button. And as always... Keep being you, and I will see you all in the next video.